Alright, I'm gonna start putting these little Christmas songs at the end of videos from now on because they're getting longer and longer, but today's video in my 12 Days of COD Miss Hot Takes series is that AI bots should belong in COD multiplayer. It's not a new take of mine either, but with all the drama between Blame Truth and Exclusive Ace recently butting heads, I thought I'd weigh in my own two cents on the discussion. So let's talk about the specific drama first, and then I'll get into why I believe AI bots should exist as a feature in COD Online multiplayer. Timestamps, of course, are down below. Alright, so Blame Truth started this by making videos for weeks on end about how he's found era Mutable evidence of robot AI controlled players in COD multiplayer. His videos have gained a lot of traction and have influenced a lot of players into believing that they actually exist. However, these people are angry about it because Activision is somehow being scummy? Okay, so I actually had to dive into a couple of older Blame Truth videos before the drama between Ace and himself began, so I could familiarize myself with his exact arguments made. But it appears the villain Blame Truth is painting is manipulation. There's nothing wrong with bots in multiplayer when they're implemented to fill a gap, but I don't know why they're in Call of Duty here except to manipulate our experience, and that's the issue I have. Yesterday, we also talked about skill-based matchmaking, and in my comment section on that video, a lot of the people that are not in favor of heavy SVMM seem to be against the manipulative matchmaking or manipulative experiences sort of boogeyman. The commonality between these two subjects that I'd like to point out are that these people claim that they're being manipulated. <laughs> and that's right, it's definition time, guys. We're not gonna settle for a negative word as justification. Let's get into the nitty gritty. To be manipulated means to control or influence a person or situation cleverly, unfairly, or unscrupulously. Now, that word unscrupulous means you're not honest or fair. You lack basic human principles. So when people claim that they're being manipulated by skill-based matchmaking or what they really mean, engagement optimized matchmaking, EOMM, what they are referring to is that the game is finding players around their skill levels to matchmake them with, to keep them playing the game longer with the most satisfaction. Now, there is no public evidence of how effective this system is, nor do we know any trends this system seems to follow to a T, even though some random people claim that there is proof. But as the vocal COD player base has speculated in the past, it feels something like you get put into three or so easy lobbies and then the next three are sweaty and hard to compete in. So let me ask you guys, does this sound like manipulation? Is there a correlation between you playing the video game longer and Activision making more money? A profit? Because for this to truly be manipulation, there needs to be a hidden, unfair motive for doing so in the first place. Trying to get you to play the game longer is a pretty low blow if you want to just call that. <laughs> manipulation. If that were manipulation, any dev that makes a game fun is manipulating you. <laughs> Congrats, you found out that people that want to enjoy Call of Duty are wanting to enjoy Call of Duty. So let's remember, there needs to be some hidden, nefarious motive behind this matchmaking. So hypothetically, maybe throw in a few AI bots to keep the match's overall score very even, so that both teams feel like they have a chance to win the game, like Blame Truth theorized in this video. So these guys are pretty bad that I'm facing, yet they are flag like jumping psychopaths these guys played the objective better than any noobs i have ever seen and they play the objective like noobs you've never seen okay firstly for this to make it into the undeniable proof of ai bots in mw3 and they're manipulating the outcomes of matches video is a massive oversight like this is only one match of evidence and it's on rust 24 7 i presume a map notorious for its small size and spawn flips. Blame Truth is using a shotgun in his gameplay and thought himself pushing forward to get tons of kills in close range wouldn't allow spawns to flip, inevitably allowing the enemy players to capture the newest nearest flag. To win the match, you need to hold more flags for a longer period of time, which Blame Truth's team and himself really are not doing that much. On top of that, you claim this happens occasionally. And this happens occasionally when I reverse boost. It's like I'm reverse boosting and the players are bad, but there's some sort of X factor. And, and the game tries its hardest to make it as even as possible. So to recap, you got a small one match sample size, are forcing enemy players to constantly flip around the map to capture the new nearest flag, and you only noticed occasionally that the enemy team is objective focused. 
occasionally the enemy team likes to capture flags, that's your X factor? Like, this video was full of extremely deniable proof all packed together to fit his narrative that Activision wants to manipulate you. <laughs> Woo, spooky, manipulation, bahambug. So just like the other example I gave with skill-based matchmaking, adding bots to even out the scores would also not be manipulative. If anything, if this system was actually in high skill lobbies too, not just the low skill ones Blame Truth reverse boosted into with his low 0.2 KD account. So BillyGo57 has like a point like two or three KD or something. It's it's low stats, right? So you're gonna match around that ballpark. Then maybe we'd see some bot like examples all around. Again, not just when Blame Truth tries to cheat in the game to get paired up with players that hardly know how to aim and shoot, and then call them irrefutable bots for standing on a flag. This is just negligence, and most likely blame truth, ironically, not telling the truth. Blame negligence or blame conspiracy over here is not a reliable source for information. I even brought this up to him in his own comment section on his video that originally responded to Exclusive Ace. Exclusive Ace debunked a bunch of other claims he made, like usernames not having the numbers at the end, as just unique names before an update. He talked about how bots do exist in the game, but they're through third-party websites that let you buy them to reverse boost. And he debunked other various oversights. Originally, Blame Truth ended up agreeing with Ace that he could do more research himself, but also in that same video, he half-handedly faults Ace for not looking into the bot's situation more. I called BT out for this, and of course Ace doesn't have to do that. He is not obligated to research for more conspiracies to debunk himself. I told Blame Truth that it's more justifiable for Ace to just call you out for your claims that you've already made, and how you can't just keep being the boy who cried wolf. Or in this case, the boy who keeps crying, MW3 is built by AI, or MW3 has AI bots and you can't deny any of these claims, as they are irrefutable proof. And sure, you can clickbait a little bit, but you keep clickbaiting after the video has begun. And yes, uh, Blaine Truth has structured a bit of his videos like they are equivalent to the X-Files series, which is a show about investigators unraveling unsolved supernatural cases. Some of his videos leaned heavily into this with silly music, visuals, and whatnot. It's so strange to me because this wouldn't be so scary, so unsettling. But also, at the same time, he's got a lot of videos acting like AI bots are an issue for real. I mean, it doesn't get much more deceiving than, it's not a conspiracy theory anymore, guys. It's true. In a previous video, I gave you guys a lot of evidence, but unfortunately, a lot of the evidence I'm collecting can either be disproven because I got something wrong, I'm like one guy trying to find something that's just not supposed to be found, or it could be explained away by just glitches and bugs. It's this line of ambiguity that Blame Truth rides and will hide behind when he's called out for being right or wrong. When you can be interpreted in two ways and then one way ends up being true, you can either say that you were right all along or that you were just exaggerating or trolling. It is a tactic that manipulative people will use and trust me, I've had my fair share of dealing with this type of person on YouTube in the past. It is not fun and they look like a fool when you catch them in their ambiguity US web. Blame Truth does not seem like a bad type of person to me. It's not like he's manipulating people to give him money or anything. <laughs> like imagine doing that to your biggest fans. But yeah, hey, I'm on Ace's side when it comes to this argument. Even now, Blame Truth seems to be stretching out the drama, like he's made a video or two after he originally responded to Ace to switch up his mind on the situation and really hammer down on Ace being the one <laughs> wrong here. Like everything he covered in his video, I've already covered and I've already corrected, so I don't see why he even made it. It comes across more like, um, a little bit of a personal attack than anything. Watching it again, there's a passive aggressive tone for sure. And I'm not saying this to stir up any drama or whatever. Like I urge you to keep things civil, but it's it's definitely a bit off. And I kind of want to just throw a video like that back. Mr. BT also further pushes his, please don't call me out guys, stance by saying this. Uh, it's it's easy to mess up what's definitive and what's not, what you think is definitive and what's not. No, no it's not. Having definitive proof is having a conclusion that cannot be further questioned. It's leaving no rocks unturned. You're very clearly joking around in spooky conspiracy videos that you've already made around bots. So at this point you kind of just come off as one of those Minecraft kid channels that tries to prove a, a ghost villager exists in Minecraft at 3am. 
Sorry to call you out, OMG. But hey, maybe we can agree on something. Let me try and convince you guys that AI bots should be produced by Activision for online matches. Call of Duty is a franchise that will eventually die without an active player base. Or the servers will get compromised by hackers and cheaters. It is inevitable. It's saddening to see. But what if we could just battle AI bots designed and tweaked to act like real players? What if we could opt into a system like that to keep the game alive for eternal years to come? Make it a timeless experience experience, like the campaign. That is the very reason why I think it would be awesome to have AI bots in public matches going forward. Sure, it's great and all that older CODs like Infinite Warfare at least have bots in private matches, but still, online multiplayer is where everything is at. Your paid character cosmetics, your unlocked weapon variants and blueprints, your mastery camos, it's all stuff online only. And one day, whether you like it or not, preservation for that experience will be forgotten about if they don't start implementing this now. COD devs don't want to go back to an older engine to program this stuff in, nor do I think Activision wants to keep updating older COD titles. I think they'd rather pull them off the market if push comes to shove. I believe Bricky, another YouTuber, stumbled upon this discovery in his COD is full of rats and we are their cheese video he made almost half a year ago. Uh, apparently Activision has the right to do that. I'll leave a link in the description for his video, but reason number two. I think if not bot based lobbies, it would be really nice to see if when an enemy or a teammate rage quits the match, they get replaced by an AI bot until someone new joints or until the match ends. So many times we find ourselves in situations where people leave the match because they're AFK, or perhaps it's a team in search and destroy that's already losing 5 to 1, so they book out early. Whatever the case may be, it's annoying for those that stay and fight, winning and or losing. For both sides, it sucks. And I mean like in my video yesterday, it literally happened to me on Christmas High Rise. And when I ended the match losing, I only had three teammates. If AI bots had joined in, even if they're recruit or normal normal difficulty, at least I would have a bit of a chance to capture the hard point without getting destroyed from every single angle on the map. When you don't have teammates, you can't see what ground is being covered. You have virtually no idea what control your team has on the map. And for a map like High Rise, like, <laughs> there's not much for lanes. It is very open, so you'll get picked off from, like, many unexpected locations. I propose recruit and normal difficulty bots because I don't want veteran bots beaming me across the map or hit firing me with 100% accuracy up close. They're COD bots, and COD bots have been nothing but unbalanced. Like, come on, they get stuck on cover and can't move. Like, I don't know how Blame Truth got to the conclusion that AI bots were able to act like normal players when every real AI bot that he showed off was just moving forward and backward every two seconds to avoid the AFK penalty. Or especially when the bots that we do have in private matches are so clunky and easily stand out as bots. <laughs> it's absurd to believe we got bots in COD that can mimic our existence exact playstyles. Sure, it, it may be possible one day, but until then, I'm waiting to see any breakthroughs across all video games. Fortnite has bots in the Battle Royale experience, and they're exactly what I want in COD multiplayer. Someone to fight, but is noticeably a bot. Someone that can't dominate a player, but can fill an obstacle that you can't ignore. And lastly, as my third reason, I got a comment on yesterday's skill-based matchmaking video saying, how about people choose the skill level they play against? This is why I think AI bots would be a great addition for COD. I've already talked about opting into purely bot-based lobbies. Maybe there isn't enough people online, or there's just hackers. But also, what if you want to go for some camo progression without sweating your butt off on shipment? If you're gonna argue that killing bots takes no skill, I damn well hope you are against shipment too. Shipment is the current skillless way to earn camos extremely fast with little to no effort. All you gotta do is put in playtime on shipment, and you're done challenges like a piece of cake. It's easy as shit. So hey, if uh, shipment gonna stay a staple in COD, let's allow everyone to cheese the mastery camos, huh? I, I don't even know why they're still called mastery camos. It's a sick joke. <laughs> but yeah, let's just allow bots in public matches, and it also solves this SBMM complaint people are having with matches being too sweaty. Like, let these people progress a game without sweating. Give them some bots. But hey, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my hot take on why AI bots should become a feature in COD multiplayer. Drop a like if you at least enjoyed the discussion. It helps set the channel and lets me know you like my content. I guess this is... Peace out, homies. Oh yeah! I still gotta do my 12 Days of Christmas song for you guys. Sorry, I almost forgot. On the second day of Christmas, Matsuki gave to me two AI bots and a hot take on skill-based matchmaking. Okay, bye. It's cringe enough. Bye. <laughs>